hello it's Sarah and I want to do a little sugar brush um sugar brush sugar skull tutorial a um, couple of my subbies have been curious about my painting of these so uh, real quick I'll just show you I made these into keychains they're looking super cute and I'm gonna have to try these out I'm gonna put one on my keychain and um, I've had one hanging from my pocketbook but I want to try and see if this is strong and these uh, eye screws are strong. I used, I told you I used jump rings or um, what are they called? I think they might be called jump rings. I forget. Anywho, I'm going to do a skull today. So the other thing I wanted to say was instead of doing the, the double pour for these where I was hoping to get the, the second color in the eyes and nose and stuff, but I ended up just painting them black anyway. So impatient me decided to just go all white and then I just colored that color on there with my Copics and I can I'll show you that at the end I also put a mirror behind these because I'm gonna try and make these into necklaces I'm gonna get some pony beads or some type of cool beads and figure out a necklace for these but these haven't been do um, not doomed I'm just gonna um, glaze them with triple thick but this is the, the, I'm going to zoom in in a minute, but I wanted to show you the tools that we're going to use. Um, for this type of a project, you don't really need much. Um, I have a couple brushes here. These are very fine tip brushes. This is a number one, oh, a number four liner. Because I figure for my flower, you might want to get um, the petals of the flower. You can use that. And this doesn't even have a number, but it's just an old brush that I really like. It was, I think I got it as a gift at a convention one time that I went to. These are called a stylus. And I know a lot of you guys use toothpicks, which is really cool. I mean, you can get a nice dip dot with a toothpick or whatever other tools you have. But I just happen to have these, so I'm going to use my stylus for the dip dots. And these are um, my favorite Castell pit pens. And you can get these at Michael's or AC Moore in the art department. Use a coupon. But they're India ink and they're very good um, pens. I, that's what I used to, to do inside my um, eyes and nose and mouth. Um, yeah. So you also need paper towel because acrylic paint is a water-based paint. And we're going to be diluting it a little bit, watering it down to get some nice line work and all that. This is my palette. I've just squirted out a little bit of each color that I'm going to be using onto a, like a, you know, styrofoam plate and a water bucket or a source of water. So we're going to get started and I'll hopefully teach you some things you didn't know. Um, just going to go off my other skulls for tutorial purposes so I know what I'm doing and I don't waste a lot of time. I'm going to try and zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. Tripod's kind of off to the side so I can ha, stop. And just do this in real time so that um, I know those speeded up videos are very popular. I really don't know how to do it. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is our flower because that's the focal point on the top of his head. I'm gonna get this, um, it's about like a, this is, says it's a number four liner. And I get some, I'm gonna let you guys see what I'm doing. I'm getting some water and with acrylic, see I have a lot of water on my brush so I'm gonna blot. Now I have water left on the bristles. So there's water in my bristles and then when I go into my paint, it'll be a little juicier. I'll show you because you don't really want to just scoop from a dry brush, go to your paint, and go to your piece with that. That's not, you know, I mean, it, it could work, but really to get a controlled, what, get the, re, um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> to get the result that you're looking for, just kind of work with the paint a minute. Load your brush up and, and play and see what you're going to get. So look, that's a juicy brush. Now we can do a lot of stuff. It's not real um, globby, so I like that. I'm gonna just, that paint was pretty much ready to go, but I have to go a little smaller, so this brush might be a little big to do what I wanna do. But I'm just gonna start in the center and pull a stroke right down the center. Go to the side, and one more. 
over there. Just load it a little bit more. And one more. We're gonna put a center in that. So there's his little hat. Oops, can you say? Um, I did pink around his nose and there's a little flower, but you know what I wanna do? While we're on strokes, we're gonna do strokes. I'm gonna go back to my littler brush and get some purple because we're gonna do his cheeks. And his cheeks are done with little comma strokes. So I put a little bit of water in there and make it a little inkier, wetter puddle. I'm gonna rinse my brush, blot, and then come back and load my brush with that wetter paint. Because we're gonna do strokes. For the cheeks, I did these little strokey things. So I'm gonna kinda wanna uh, have a focal point here. I'm just gonna make a little dot and I'm gonna try and aim my stroke, hopefully this is in focus, to that little dot. So I'm gonna put my brush down and pick up. Put my brush down and pick up. These are thick. I don't really like that one going off to the weird way. I'm gonna try and get it off. Q-tips are a great tool to have. And even with this resin, I've noticed, I can get it off. The color kinda stays there, but if you push hard enough, you can get it off. So always have a Q-tip handy. I learned that years ago. You can get your mistakes off real quick. So I'll try it again. I just didn't like the angle of that. And I mean, it, it is a tutorial, but I, I like it to look nice. I'm gonna try and use this. So put my little point here and I'm gonna pull it a little closer to the other ones. That looks better, but you know what we for I forgot to do? I wanted to do, it'll fit. I'm gonna do a green line around the mouth, but we gotta do this side. Put my little focal point there. Just get a little paint. I want my brush to be juicy. And I'm gonna put it down, pick up. Now, you guys, can do whatever you want. One of my subbies, her name is Sarah, I think it's Chrome Princess is her YouTube. She did hers like a, a theme each time. She's doing, she did a garden theme and then she did a under the water theme. These are basically um, to celebrate uh, the life of your loved one when it's the day of the dead in Mexico and in Latina countries. I don't know. I'm not an expert on it, but, and I don't know how to say it in Spanish, but basically they're celebrating the lives of their loved ones. Um, so they decorate the skull with pretty stuff, whatever they feel like is pretty. So it can be whatever you want it to be. And I think you guys are so creative. I copy, I'm a copycat and you know, I just, and then, I mean, then I kind of pick and choose what I like from what I copied. So it does become my own at some point. But really, I, I don't, I get my ideas from you guys. You guys are my inspiration. That's why I love YouTube. Um, so I'm going to go into some red. And I'm going to make a heart. I'm going to get my brush situated. And I just like to make, sometimes I do it with my dip dots, but you just kind of make a V. And then just fill it in. Make it a curvy one. I like my heart's curvy. That's got a bumpy. Got to focus, sorry. I can't talk and make hearts, evidently. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. All right, stop. I got to stop. It's getting bigger. Now, when we outline it with the black liner, it all it fixes all the mistakes. Um, you know what? I also have a little heart, a red heart on the teeth. I like this little thing I'm doing with my um. I'm just put a little heart right here, a little tattoo I call it. I don't know why, because it looks pretty and I like it. I guess that was 10 minutes. 
Uh, so now we have to do, I'm going to do my dip dots. Yeah, I'm going to do the dip dots real quick. So for dip dots, I like to have, you have to have like a nice puddle. You can't have dried up paint. Um, we're going to use the pink. So I'm going to use um, for around the nose. This is like the smaller stylus. Um, and look, before you go to your piece, practice a few. Dip it in and go to your, and put it down on your palette so you can see what you're getting. This is a little thick, this paint, but it's okay. I think the dip dots are coming out. You want a nice, um, what would be the word? Con like, not concise circle, but like a, the bubble should be, you know, it shouldn't look wonky. It should look nice and round. All right, I like those. So I'm going to get my skull in here. And um, every dot I do, I'm going to go, oh, I got to make sure I'm in the shot. That is not good if I'm not in the shot. It's hard to, like, hold my piece and have a tripod. Oh, gosh, all right. So we're going to start at the top of the nose. And it's best if they don't touch because then they just start to, they're not defined. They start to get into a big, like, um, mushy. They get mushy. So try to keep them all separate by not really touching, just barely touching. And you'll have nice consistent circles there. And I just go all the way around the nose. And this one's kind of touching. So the bottom got a little weird, but that's okay. And then there's one little flower right kind of opposite this eye. I just do a little dip dot flower with, with five petals. Three, four, five. And then we have the pink flower. Oh, cripes. Here we go. Sorry. My hand was right behind it. The pink flower tattoo. So I'm just going to take a little paint off there and do one, two, three. You could even just do four, but I'll put five. Little, I like to put those little details on his teeth. And there is gold dip dots where the cheeks are. So I put a nice big gold dip dot here. And you can go in twice if you need to kind of make it bigger and rounder. And right here, the gold paint might not be as juicy. And then I have a gold um, tooth and a gold like diamond right above his nose, which we want to be careful um, because I did just do those around the nose might not be a good time to put that on there because I don't want to, so I don't know. I'm going to wait. We're going to do our vine first. So I'm going to get some nice green. I'm going to move that out of the, we'll get our green nice and juicy because to make a vine or nice thin line, you need inky paint, like nice ink consistency, like it's flowing out of a pen. So I just mix a little water into my paint and get it inky. And then you have a little more control. I'm going to clean that off and then come back and load my brush. It's actually really wet. It might be a little too wet. So you just have to kind of play around and feel it out and see what you think, um, how it feels to you if the paint is too wet, too thick, and add water or dry, and rinse your brush as you go so that you can kind of determine that. So let's see, we're going to put a little, uh, uh, vine there, and I'm going to add, um, leaves to this. It's 
not exactly how my first one was, but it's good. And then to do leaves, I just do these little like half circle things like this. Hopefully I'm in the shot. And then the, um, I usually do like two, like I'll do two here. Wait, hey. Turn your piece and make sure it's, you know, it's easy for you to do it. You don't have to struggle to make something if it's, if it's not comfortable. Be comfortable. And one over here. I like to put one on my tattoo. And one over here. Um, is that enough? I think that's enough. All right. I used yellow for the um, center of this flower. You know what? I'm going to just touch real quick. I don't like that gap in between there with the Right here, I just want that to be filled in. See how that paint was not wet, and I don't like it at all. I, because I'm on camera, I'm not re like really. Okay, let's do it right, Sarah. Okay, so I need my paint to be wet, and I didn't prepare. I just went into that dried out puddle, and the paint does not look right when you do that. So you have to make sure. There. Now I just filled it in perfectly. I'm going to put a yellow dip that. And I'm actually going to use the back of my brush for this. So I'm just going to stick this into that yellow puddle and go right down in the center. And you get a nice big dip that there. I'm going to do a tiny little one. Well, use the little stylus and do a yellow uh, center on this flower. And a yellow, tiny little yellow center on this flower. And the only thing left is that gold, uh, oh, the eyes. We might as well do the eyes. I decided to do the eyes in orange. I haven't used orange very often on these, and I, I want to do some orange eyes. So I have my, I'm just going to use my stylus, and we're going to do dip dot eyes and see how it goes. And I usually do, I think, six. Yeah, six. One. Two. Am I on camera yet? Three. Really try not to make them touch because if they touch, like I said, it becomes a blob. They just look better when they're nice and defined. And these are all different sizes because you know why? My paint's been sitting there a while and it's a little thicker. And it's not as flowy, but that looks cool. I like orange. All right, we're at 8.38. I'll go away and come back. To I didn't want it to cut off. And I'll do my other eye. And I mean, I don't have to be doing this on camera, but I don't know how to edit into speed up mode. So I'm just, you're stuck with me for another minute till I get these done. Five. Six. And I think I'll do the centers in yellow. Um, I could do them in gold. No, yellow. So I'm just going to dip my... Yay, I like that. And then the last thing is that gold. I want to go over my heart real quick just because I want it a little darker. It seems a little sheer. So I'm just going to put a little more paint right on top of it. Make it a little darker. That looks pretty. Oops. As he gets bigger and bigger. Uh, this one's good. Okay. And then I'm just going to do a gold like diamond. I said it's not a diamond. It's a, it's a square, but it's on its corner. My dog is trying to get on my seat. Kirby, you can't sit with me right now. You'll mess me up.
Stop it. Oh boy, here she comes. Come on then. You're gonna mess me up, Carbo. Curb. <laughs> Gotta show you. What do you think you're doing? Kirby. Kirby. Hey. <laughs> All right, sorry. She's my little friend. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I think we're good. Um, let's see. That's pretty much the painting. And you know what? You can leave it like that. Um, it looks pretty. It looks good. But I just, for some reason, I like the way the black... Oh, you know what? I didn't add my highlights to... Um, I'm going to zoom out a tiny bit. Oop, that's in. But see how I put uh, the black around everything on this one? And it, to me, it just pops better. Especially the gold the pink, like the lighter colors. Um, this is the other thing. Did I put white on my palette? No. I'm going to grab a little white, shake the bottle, make sure you get it all shook up. And right on the hearts, I take a little smidge of paint on the tip of my brush and just kind of make a little highlight right there. See? And I'm going to do it on the little one too. There you go. Um, what else? All right. I think we're good until I need to um, let the dip dots dry and everything. And then maybe I'll come back and show you the uh, how I do the outlining. It's not a big deal. Oh, the other thing I wanted to talk about. Okay, I can do this, actually. Hmm, it would be tricky, I guess. But what I'm going to do for this... I don't have that much purple on here, so I think I'll do it in purple. I have my Copic marker. I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom out. Nope, that's not out, Sarah. All right. And what I did last time was I took my stamp that was sitting here, my mermaid stamp, and I used this to rest my hand on. Kirby, stop! I can't do this with you, honey. I can't do it. You gotta move, move. Um. There's a bold tip on these. You get a fine tip and a bold tip. So I just took the bold tip and see, I'm going to mess this up if I touch it. I have to touch it on the side, but you just take it and pull it along just like that. And it gives you, and then I let this set for um, overnight when I did the other ones because the black, I did um, a line of black along the edge. I'll show you. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that on camera because it really takes a little minute. But this was a little bit wet. Like when you went over it like that last night, it was kind of getting on my finger. But now it's all dry. So I might triple thick this whole, like not the back. But I'm going to triple thick um, the sides and the top and everything. Um, so that it's definitely under there. Like, you know, you're sealing in your paint. Because if I were to rub on this real hard or take a Q-tip and really rub it, it would all come off because it's not sealed onto there. So the triple thick will seal it in. This is the purple. I think it looks cool. And I especially like the black line to kind of finish it off. So i um, going to definitely do that. So I'll come back and um, do the line work in a minute when everything's dry. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just went up and looked at what I had so far, and it looks pretty good. So I'm going to put them all together. I forgot the little green line by the mouth. Why didn't you guys tell me? <laughs> so I'm getting my, my inks. I mean, my, my, ink. my paint's been sitting for a minute because I was upstairs. I had lunch. But I didn't put this little green. You know what? Let me back in on it. I triple thicked um, my other pieces too. So I'll show you those at the end. But let's get him in the shot. Make him nice and in focus. Come on. It's not focusing. Look at him focus. That's good. I'm going to do uh, just a little green line around the mouth defines that area. I 
and pulls the green down a little bit too onto the piece down there. So that's it. Um, now we're going to outline everything. Uh, what was I just going to say? I, I went ahead and finished the purple around the edges. And it's a little crooked and stuff, but I think I'm going to use um, a Copic. Uh, their alcohol ink, and you know what, the India ink, I don't know if the Faber-Castell pens are, are alcohol ink. Uh, India ink, it's waterproof. Because what's happening is I, when I do the triple thick one here, it's bleeding. Oh gosh, I keep putting them together. But it kind of, you can see a little how the black kind of bled out a little. I did the edges just lately. That's just from inside the, I don't know, let me see this one. So you can kind of tell it like it bled. The black line bled a little underneath the triple thick. So I'm just going to try a different um, black pen this time um, when I go around the edges. Um, you know what's funny though is the India ink, you know what? It's not really bleeding on the front. Is it? Maybe because it's just such a fine line it's not bleeding. But I, yes, I did use the, the India ink to do that. All right, let's just, I'm going to turn this a little that way so I don't look. And you know what? This was giving me a problem earlier. I ruined one of my sugar skulls. I'll show you. I threw it in the trash. Where is he? Oh, no. Here he is. When I went to do the mouth on this one, the ink got, like, all, it was, see how it's getting all over my fingers right now? You can see that. I'm going to grab a butt wipe. I think I have a leak in this pen, so I don't think I'm going to use it. I'm going to have to go to my, um, yeah, there's like ink all over this pen right now. I don't know what's going on. Somehow, like up in, in this part of it, right here, I think it's leaking out right there. Instead of coming out the, just the tip of the pen, it's coming out like there. So I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, it's getting all over the place. Oops. I got to, um, I'm going to just try and do it with my, um, I have these other pens that are, um, they're Sakura, um, let me see what this is called. These are called Micron, the Micron 01, and these again, I think they're, they're in the scrapbooking section too in my Michaels, I think. They're like over by the, um, hmm, I think they're in the, uh, the die cut out. Well, anyway, I pr probably all Michaels are different and stuff. But boy, there was a lot of ink all over that. I got ink all over me. That was leaking that pen. But I'll try my Micron. But see how this, it, it was bleeding on me this morning when I went to do this one. So I kind of ruined him. Um, so that's, that stinks. I'm not sure what went on. Hopefully it was just that pen. It was just that bad pen. But let's see how this one works out. Um... Just going to start with my heart and just gently, I don't want it to be, I really, I have to focus. See, I already went out of the lines. Um, this is actually a 01, so that's a really fine point. But like for this gold right here, it'll really make it pop. So that's why I like it, like for cert for some things, um, I think the flower would look really cool outlined. So this is working pretty good. It I switched to the other one, to the Faber-Castell, because this one wasn't really working for me the other day. So I don't know. I think you really need to let the paint dry completely. That could pro be a problem. Because I'm just impatient and I want to just get it all done. So I might have just tried to do it when the paint wasn't dry and then the ink didn't take to it, you know? So, yeah, because this seems to be working just fine. It's a really, really fine tip, though. But that's okay. But see how it just defines everything? Hopefully you can tell. I mean, I'm a little, I'm not as zoomed in as I was, but just gently go around each detail 
and hope for the best. I definitely like to do the leaves because that like you can really shape them up. Um, sometimes the ink doesn't seem like it's flowing. So I just touch the tip down to a piece of paper and it kind of gets it flowing again. I'm going to get a cramp in my fingers from having them like that. But you get the idea. Um, and like I said, it's individual preference. You're going to do how you like it. This is just my little take on it. And uh, I love to see what you guys come up with. Because you guys are all so creative. And um, I get inspired by watching you guys so um I guess that's it uh let me think I was gonna sh I showed you the um how I did the purple around the edges and I think I'm gonna try I definitely want to do a black line around the edge but I think we're good you get the idea I'll probably trace around the nose and that line and it'll end up looking something like this so these are my two little sugar skulls. I did him in purple. See, and I got the, sh the triple thick. They were stuck to each other. So that's them. All right, guys. I hope this was helpful. Give it a try. Thanks for watching.